What if we could mimic the same process that powers the sun and the stars and use it to generate safe, carbon-free energy on Earth? That concept is exactly what TAE Technologies is undertaking. This startup, based in California, has raised over $1.2 billion and one day hopes to make this type of energy called nuclear fusion a reality. Nuclear fission is taking these large atoms and breaking them apart, and you're releasing energy as a byproduct. That's what drives most of the energy that we know when we think of nuclear energy today. So fusion is the opposite. It's building things out of small constituents and building larger atoms. So you're taking things like hydrogen, for instance, and you're fusing those together, and you get helium and other byproducts. And in the process, there's some energy released. A hydrogen boron fuel is heated up into a plasma state on each end of the company's fusion reactor machine. The particles are positively charged and naturally want to repel each other. To overcome this resistance, exceptionally high temperatures and magnets are used to slam the plasma together and hold it in place so the fusion process can begin. One challenge that this technology is in the process of overcoming is the need for exceptionally hot temperatures. Nuclear fusion on Earth requires heat that exceeds the temperature of the sun's surface, which is just 15 million degrees Celsius. We're building this current machine uh, we call Copernicus, which is supposed to get to the about 150 million degrees, which seems to be sort of the sweet spot around where the hydrogen fuel cycle really cooks. We think we can do this by around mid, mid decade ish. And then you come to the step where you're going to scale that up, say from 150 to on the order of a billion, so about another factor of eight to 10. And that occurs somewhere late in the decade, early 2030, where we will have a machine that we call Da Vinci. Some of the benefits of nuclear fusion include zero risk of radioactive waste, carbon-free energy, and the ability for the machine to shut off in the event of an accident, such as a destructive earthquake. When you think nuclear, you immediately think of accident scenarios, right, and the kinds of sad things that happened historically. While fusion and fission are sort of nuclear cousins to a degree, they're very different in the attributes. And the right kind of fusion, the hydrogen boron fusion in particular, has none of those radioactive components to it. Other than nuclear, the taxonomy, it's a completely different sort of um, set of characteristics. The company aims to reach a temperature of 1 billion degrees later on this decade or in the early 2030s, which would result in the fusion reactor machine generating levels of energy that surpass the energy needed to power the machine. Energy is this great equalizer. And when you have it in a way where it no longer depends on one locality that has most of the hydrocarbons, but it's, it's everywhere ubiquitously distributed, then you're freeing also resource wars and the kinds of constraints we have today. So it's a, it's, a, it's a wonderful future. And what stands between us is a few more years of mostly science and engineering to get to the final proof points, and then all working together concertedly to deploy as fast as we can.